So Daniel, here we are on the third floor and there's work going on all around us, right? We got the uh, HVAC guys uh, working through ducts. We got the roof, uh, the roofers working on the roofs. So uh, construction sites, that's a, it's a construction site. So uh, it's kind of cool to see the roof right exposed right now before uh, walls and insulation get put on. And what we were talking about is that the method for roof here, uh, we thought we were gonna have to replace the wood. We thought we were gonna have to replace it with plywood because we thought it was gonna be very damaged. Yep. And the, for, the good news is this old wood that you said, this old growth wood that you said you found throughout the house, which is really good wood, it's still okay for the most part, right? It lasts longer. Yeah, it lasts <laughs> longer and it survived really with the tough, tough conditions, a roof that was past its day. So this is the old roof, right? This is the old, these are the old planks. Yep. And you can even feel the integrity of it. Yep. Right. But then there were pieces that needed to be replaced, mm -hmm. right? That were, that had, uh, that had decayed. So rather than redo everything, just like you were sharing below, we've preserved as much of this great wood as we can. And it also has the benefit of being a lot less expensive. Yep, exactly. <laughs> right? Exactly. So uh, we've got the underlayment, and you were sharing a little bit about sort of structures and roof. Like, yep. Like, what is that yeah. here versus what happens today? Yeah. Back to the old time, this is kind of like we call a manson or like a Gabriel, you know, structure. And it all the, the, these, all these old wood rafters all the way coming up. And you see that small, tiny stuff over there that's kind of like the ridge board yes and then this ceiling joist at the like this the the headroom probably like eight feet yeah. and plus these knee walls and these like these attic joists they all working together as like a perfect triangle because you know the triangle is the most stable shape yes. the 2d so that when, whatever the load coming from it can just self adjust by themselves so these are very subtle and uh, stable and strong structure back to that time. Nowadays, people no longer doing that because it takes too much time. Right. It might be like take like a half year or one year to just frame the entire roof and the, the connections need to be carefully designed. So that these days people either, they just give it up the attic space or they use like a, we call it like attic truss. Mm -hmm. It can be fabricated Trust. in the uh, yeah. in the factory and come to one day and crawl into the top space. But these are the masterpiece of old craftsmanship yeah. and carpenter. It reminds me when I went to like Philadelphia. There's a building called Carpenter Hall, mm -hmm. which back to like probably before the Revolution War, the Congress hold a meeting there, yes. and their building holds like the untrimmed, like 18 inch diameter wood as their attic joist. Yes. And the entire roof rafter is also com consistent with the same material. So the, so the entire, let's say second floor level can span like 30 to 40 feet without any post in the middle. Yes. So that that's kind of like a very, very wise method of like field build trust. I'm yes. so surprised that back to that time, people already in invented such stuff. And yes. you can see almost like the, a replica or kind of like similarity yes. of this house. Well, the trusses, the truss system that you're talking about, in a way, would it be right to say it's it's similar to what we saw in the basement 
yep. with the old fashioned uh, underpinning, yeah, right? Exactly. Because the, tr the what the underpinning is, it, it collapses the space to provide more structure, right? Isn't that the truss pretty much does the same thing for the roof, right? right? It collapses the space. So the good news from practical, you know, why does this, all this stuff matter? Well, it's interesting, right? But beyond interesting, what we're excited about is there's a lot of space up there. Oh yeah, right? Exactly. So we're gonna put in an attic access here and we're gonna be able to use some of that as storage. Uh, the Hall of One Party style, Christmas <laughs> tree. Yes, exactly. Hundred percent. The stuff that you're not that we're not going to use all the time, right? So that can go up there. So glad that this one was keep the same same you know profile and not touching them because in our structure part, there's always like old saying like if something do not have problem, yes, don't touch don't it. Don't touch it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. exactly. If it ain't, don't fix it. <laughs>